Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Why Has Ash Barty Retired? Australian tennis star's shock choice to quit explained. Summary of headline article. Ash Barty, the world number one female tennis player, has announced her retirement from the sport with immediate effect fewer than two months after winning the Australian Open. The 25-year-old Australian announced in an interview by her close friend and former doubles partner, Casey Delacqua that she has nothing more to give, after achieving everything that she wanted in her career, having won three of the four Grand Slam titles at the French Open, Wimbledon and January's Australian Open. Barty explained the reasoning behind the move which has shocked her sport by saying she had achieved her one true dream in tennis by winning Wimbledon last year and then her Australian Open triumph in January provided a perfect way to finish her career. Barty, a three-time Grand Slam singles winner, has held the number one ranking for 114 consecutive weeks and leaves the sport as the reigning Wimbledon and Australian Open champion. I'll be retiring from tennis. And it's the first time I've actually said it out loud and it's hard to say. From the sun under the main headline of Russia fighting UK to host Euro 2028 with shock bid despite Ukraine invasion. Summary of headline article. Russia have launched a shock bid to host Euro 2028 and Euro 2032 rivaling the UK and Ireland's attempts to host the competition. He said, the executive committee decided that we would apply to host the European Championship 2028 and Euro 2032. The FAs of England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland had been considering a bid to host the World Cup in 2030. Turkey have already submitted their application with Romania and Bulgaria submitting a joint bid, and Greece and Serbia doing the same. The joint bid from the UK and Ireland must hope UEFA can look beyond that and trust they are capable of avoiding a repeat of the shameful scenes. From Daily Star under the main headline of details of Eric Ten Hag's Man United interview show. Thoughts of Old Trafford Chiefs. Summary of headline article. Manchester United are said to have reservations about Eric Ten Hag following his interview with club bosses. Ten Hag, 52, was interviewed for the Tottenham job in the wake of Jose Mourinho's sacking. Ralph Rangnick has been doing the job on an interim basis since Earl Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked last November. United have been keen to stress that no one has emerged as a favourite to get the job. United's preferred target remains Tuchel. But club insiders admit it will be difficult to get the German out of Chelsea. From Daily Express under the main headline of Lewis Hamilton accused of using the force as new. Footage of Sergio Perez spin surfaces. Summary of headline article. More info Lewis Hamilton has been jokingly accused of using the force to scupper Sergio Perez's hopes of claiming a podium finish at the Bahrain Grand Prix on Sunday. Perez spun out of the race on the final lap after his engine failed, with new footage showing Hamilton's view of the incident. With just three laps of the season opener remaining, Scuderia star Charles Leclerc led the race, with Red Bull's Max Verstappen behind him. But it soon became apparent that Perez had spun out of the race without coming into contact with anything. More Formula One news. Toto Wolff makes worrying Lewis Hamilton prediction amid Mercedes. Woe's Hamilton responds to fear refusing to overrule Verstappen's title win Charles Leclerc gave.
engineers, heart attacks, with last lap prank Sergio Perez spun out of the Bahrain Grand Prix on Sunday. From Mail Online under the main headline of Harry Kane says England plan to use their platform to inspire change. Summary of headline article. England captain Harry Kane says the Three Lions squad will use their platform at the World Cup to try and improve the human rights issues in Qatar. The Tottenham striker said that England had never shied away from important issues and that they would not start now. As players we didn't choose where this World Cup was going to be. World Cup organizers and FIFA have claimed only three workers have died from industrial accidents while constructing World Cup grounds. Meanwhile, on the pitch, Kane has said that England will use their defeat to Italy in July as motivation to win the World Cup. From Metro under the main headline of Oleksandr Usyk leaves Ukraine to begin training for Anthony. Joshua fight. Summary of headline article. Usyk will now begin preparation for the rematch. Picture. Getty. Oleksandr Usyk has left Ukraine to begin preparations for his heavyweight title fight against Anthony Joshua. His presence in Ukraine put his proposed rematch with Joshua in serious doubt. Usyk traveled to London to beat Joshua and take the world titles last September with the Briton swiftly activating a rematch clause. Joshua and his promoter Eddie Hearn have considered the possibility of an interim fight taking place in June if Usyk decided to remain in Ukraine. Usyk had enlisted in Ukraine's defense forces. Picture. Getty. Matchroom chief Hearn explained on Tuesday that a decision would needed within the coming days. From Metro under the main headline of Rashford told Liverpool are not interested and he's nothing. Without Man United. Summary of headline article. Rashford is said to be happy at Old Trafford. Picture. Getty. Paul Parker says Marcus Rashford is simply not good enough for any of the clubs he has been linked. Within recent weeks. Insisting the forward is nothing without Manchester United and England. Manchester United and England sells Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford without England and Manchester United is a nobody to the people out there who want to sell, market him. Not at the level of football he's playing and the fact that he plays for Manchester United. I don't think Liverpool, PR wise, are going to take a player who's playing very very poorly for Manchester United and then introduce him to their squad. From Daily Star under the main headline of Man United goalkeeper holds back tears as he's forced to retire age just 23. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter Manchester United goalkeeper Paul. Woolston was forced to hold back the tears after announcing his retirement from professional football age just 23. He said, to have to retire at just 23 has been really tough to come to terms with but I feel a lot more positive now. I am really proud of everything that I have achieved. Many people dream of playing football at this level. Man United number 1 David De Gea sent his best wishes to Wollstone with a classy message. He's a great lad, a great goalkeeper and we all feel really sorry for him. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Gary Neville. Sergio Aguero and Didier Drogba among 25 man shortlist for Premier League Hall of Fame. Summary of headline article. To be eligible for the Premier League Hall of Fame, players must have been retired by January 1, 2022 and only a player's Premier League career is considered in their candidacy, not their performances in other competitions during the Premier League era. Czech made 443 Premier League appearances, keeping 202 clean sheets on his way to four league titles.
Owen won the Premier League title at Manchester United in the 2010-11 season and was named Premier League Player of the Season in the 1997-98 campaign. He won five Premier League titles and was named as Premier League Player of the Season in the 1995-96 campaign. Image. Teddy Sheringham made 418 Premier League appearances Teddy Sheringham over his time in the Premier League. Sheringham scored 146 goals in 418 league appearances. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Owen Farrell has been missed by England and Saracens. Says director of rugby Mark McCall. Summary of headline article. Saracens director of rugby Mark McCall says Owen Farrell has been missed by both club and country. As he prepares to welcome back his sensational and inspirational captain after a four-month absence. Farrell suffered an ankle injury in England's 32-14 victory against Australia in November. The fly half was preparing to return to action in January only to injure his other ankle in a freak training ground accident. Now Farrell is set to make his first club appearance since October 24 when Saracens host Bristol. Bears at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Saturday. I have never come across someone who can lead the way he does, McCall said. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.